Hey guys, Nate Sabota here with Wichita Homeworks, and it's Friday, so we are on one of our job sites, uh, and I'm going to give you guys a tour through here. So, uh, what we what we have here is a master bedroom and bathroom uh, project. So this used to be two bedrooms, and uh, now we're turning it into one. So we've got. Arturo here, we got Tino and Kyle. Uh, I want to show you guys one thing real quick before uh, Kyle walks us through here. So you can see down the hallway, we've got all the, uh, the doorways and the passages into the house all closed off to help with dust control. And then we have this really cool plastic doorway that's got a zipper on it. So as we're sanding drywall and creating dust, we do our best as always to uh, keep keep the rest of the house clean. It's always a struggle. So, Kyle, you want to walk us through what we got going here? For sure. Uh, so when we first walked into this place, the way it was set up, coming in kind of from this doorway, uh, there was a wall here and it split it into two bedrooms. So what you're seeing here used to be the master bedroom, just a little bit smaller, with a closet here, and then a smaller closet on the other side. And then it was kind of split here into a, a, another bedroom over here, and then just a, a small bathroom over here, which was kind of the master bathroom. Really just enough room for a shower uh, and a king of the king veranda. Cool. So the you can't even tell on the ceiling where we tore that wall out. You guys did a good job with new texture we did a knockdown texture on it so tina did a lot of the a lot of the demo and framing here so we took out this wall kind of reframed all this up so now we have a, a much larger uh, master bedroom here then you come over this way now we've got a much much larger walk-in closet so this is going to have all kinds of shelving and rods for for everything so i think this is the size master closet that everybody wants <laughs> That's bigger than my bathroom. <laughs> there we go. Um, and then if we come over to this way, uh, this is where a lot of the, the work is still going on. This is turning into the master bathroom. So right now, behind you, we've got the vanity put in here. Um, I've got it all plastic off and covered up to protect it for now. Um, but we'll have two sinks there, so his and her or Jack and Jill sink there. And then uh, this way, we've got this large walk-in shower. Kind of Holy cow! You get a look around here. There'll Keeps be a on bench, going. Be a bench here. The nice thing about having a shower this large is the entryway is separated by this little wall here. It's far enough away we don't actually have to put a curtain or a door or gotcha. anything. We'll just be able to walk in. Um, and the other cool thing we're doing with this is we're doing what's called a zero entry. Um, so Very nice. the height of the floor of the shower right here is going to be the same height. As the floor of the rest of the bathroom, so there's no curb to step up on. Um, you can just walk seamlessly right in. And then obviously all of the shower floor drains over towards the drain. It yes. slopes towards the drain, so that way water doesn't work its way back out. Of it. Yeah, exactly. And then over here will be the wet closet area, so a separate drawer off area for the for the toilet. But, uh, I believe we're getting all these windows in here. Awesome. Uh, the windows get in as well. Very cool. A lot of cool work going on in here. Yeah. We're going to, so this will all be tile as well. This will all be the same uh, 12 by 24 tiles, uh, very similar to what's on the wall here. What we're doing with these walls, the reason they're stopped at this height all the way around is we're going to do a mosaic accent yeah. tile all the way through. And it's actually going to run through the niche that we have here. Very cool. So that pattern will continue through, and then we'll go back to these larger tiles all the way to the ceiling. Very cool. All right. Well, hey, I appreciate it, Kyle. Got Tino and Arturo working hard on paint and drywall. And that's going to be a wrap for us today. So uh, as always, we'd be more than happy to talk with you if you have a project in mind. Um, we, we, our first step in doing so would be to work up a design. And we can put some numbers to that and make it work for you. So 
appreciate you guys watching and we will see you next week. hope you all have a great weekend.